We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Order is such a bad thing today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going here, just three men. <laughs> Hello, friends. Clear a nest. We need a couple squads at least. So what friend Jeff You're not Lane. going. Metro. Yeah, we'll in first. Uh, we're waiting for the guys. Last light. On their way. Continuing then we on, we're actually going to go into the theater. You cool. Come on in. It's my height. The new standards say I'm two centimeters short. So what what happens when they find us here? For each campaign, not a million dollars in the military. Well, if you enlist, they acknowledge you as a person. But How anyone deemed unnecessary is chased off. We've been in the Reich all our lives, and now we're freaks? Ugh, this happens all the time. But why? Why do So, I... that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And Revolution is fitting distance to Polis. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome. Have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Look, I don't make the rules, okay? Okay, so how's everybody doing out there in the world? Let's see what we got here. Critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, young men, I see you like my witty side. There's a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, even peasants for Christ's sake. All are welcome here. Even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Balfoy. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They're immune to criticism. They choose money over art. And these poor souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are played for fools. They say that art only interests the well-fed. But, my young friend, I will argue that even the hungry need art. For thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But, sadly, true art is twenty years gone. What remains is profane trash. And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? I mean, I already, I already gave you one. Uh, I'll give you. Uh -huh. So there are still men, not just Mario Nets. I disgust myself. Here we sit, with drinks, dark lights, and all around us radiation, death, decay, and endless war. Don't lose your chance. Give yourselves and your loved ones the gift death of happiness. And decay. That's exactly why we need theater. Drink and a show. Wow. That is a really appetizing smell you have here, Simeon. Is it something new? No. Is Sorry. it mushrooms with mushroom Sorry. sauce? Hey, keep your hands up. Why? What happened? Vitya didn't make it. How? We were heading back. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. No one suffered the scratch. 
but Vitya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open on the brick. And you, you left him there to die. That's a demon. No, Katya, so we tried to save like him, real thing. but it was too late. Look no, the it's yeah. Yeah. No, that's just swings like this when taking off. And my dad saw lots of demons. We're right, Uncle Misha. This is a demon. Well, it's all right. Let it be a demon. But there used to be birds like this. Birds? Are they mean like demons? Hurry! There are only so many tickets. So Nikitish. When do we become your own father? Have you got enough money to last a week? A week? Two days, maybe. Then my life is over. It took so long to save up. Not a scratch or speck of rust. Guaranteed to hit. Now you're just being pretty. Shit. You can still make it to start. Nah, you can't fit that mini in your pack. Look, these bullets are good. Despite being hit. will surely make your enemy work up a sweat. Self-defense is everyone try. Protect yourself. I'm bomb 36, so I think they'll be enough. Well, good luck. You're always welcome here. Throwing knives, silent and deadly. Perfect self-defense weapons. Best prices. Leather. Best leather goods, original Grenades, designs, low prices. This is great stuff. The best you'll find. I don't know. It's prohibited. Maybe I'll just get a drink instead. Well, Artyom, I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the field. Okay, okay. I just can't hit a woman. You are entirely different subject. Hey, you! Stop! Show me your tickets! Did you hear that? Sure. Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. If you'd be so kind, the can can. Now, their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But, <laughs> I trust, they will handle the race far of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his, uh, terror of our city. Get back! Where you dumb free? 
Impressive victory as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> And they went back to the traditional recipe. The new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kola Bajarni, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottle. A round of applause, please! will never sound the same. Your music has touched strings with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean, the most scorching spectacle of today, our fire show. A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please. Mind-blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be shot. <laughs> thank you, dear friends, thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo, the favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Victor Minchuk with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> Thank you. 
power of this ecstasy and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to whatever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchu and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. I round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. of the century. Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Moscow underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozarni. Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye, farewell. Parting is such sweet. And just right then and there, your achievement will pop up and say, Part of the heart, or whatever. I forget what it, was, what it said. But sadly, we won't see the achievement because they already got it. And so this 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 guy here playing the piano. I would imagine if I sat here for a half hour, I could still be playing until I get up. I guess by the W to get up. But that's the show, basically. You have to sit through the whole thing, you know, up until this point here, and then uh, we get the achievements. Anyways, you know, we can listen to the piano for a little while. I don't know if you would really appreciate that or not, but because he could, he could also go into loops, like you know, like the soft part right here. He can start again and get up to a more gradual pace and then come back down. And all these people are still smiling and still enjoying it. And like I said, I, I think I could, I could just walk away from the computer, I bet you would keep on playing. But anyways, it's sad to say, but we gotta say goodbye because it's the end of the show. Nice. I mean, it was a, it was a nice little thing, and when I saw that achievement, I was like, "Wow, cool!" But anyways, I I think the show is over because he did say it was, and but he's gonna play. Artyom, no, enjoy the show. Yep. Sorry, man. Time to move on. You patron of the art. Yeah, yeah, that's what it'd be. It'd be patron of the art, the achievement. Oh, Pavel Igorovich, so glad to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore? Helen, no, sto, I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon, I promise. Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. 
Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. No, he's reliable and doesn't waste his money. In that case, you should just marry him. He won't propose. He's too cheap for that, too. Fool. We're just testing our love. Dead, yeah. And in the meantime, he made you some powder by scratching the ceiling. At least I have a man of my own, instead of selling myself at the bar. You'd do it too if anyone would buy. Girls, enough quarreling. The prompt belt's going to go off soon. So what? I'm not going on stage with her. You better. You've nowhere else to go since the freak show left the station. You bitch! Knock it off! No fighting here or on stage! Okay, let's let it go. No, it's not okay! What? Should I call Petrovna? No, please don't. Then finish your makeup. It's our call soon. Instead of wasting ammo on each other, they could be wiping out the vermin. They don't give a shit about that. The Nosalik has butchered my father. Who cares? No one. So how are we supposed to live or raise our children? If the monsters don't kill them, other men will. This is what I'm saying. Why go on day after day? Why can't it just end? Anyways, I tell you we should be going, but uh, let's dream to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? okay? Here you are, two of our specials from the old stock, been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great! So, let's drink, Artyom! There you are. Ah. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but uh, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, and there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Here it is. Wow, so... <clears throat> Yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true, but no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other, sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? War there, war there is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Blin. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! 
So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back, comrade Major. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Okay, folks, we're gonna have betrayal now, and it's shortly after this when the game crashed. And I had to do all this all over again. So, we're gonna press the key, we're gonna go into it a little bit, and then that'll be a checkpoint, and then I'm gonna go ahead and quit. So, but I'll show you the, this, the, the first part of this. Move it! Hey, stop that, bleh! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, Tavarish. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Yep. What about Comrade Korn? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Move Look, it! Artyom, you're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, too. Comrade General! Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbut. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky, one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Okay, so then this happens. <laughs> Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cut of the chase. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. But, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunium must start learning how to improve his, uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, viewer... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Okay, and it's right Faster here... Faster and more effective. It's right here where you would get an achievement you shit. for almost dead. Uh, Spill your guts <laughs> now! Tell everything you know of these six! Huh? 
This is Still where you nothing, get the achievement. Huh? You're almost dead. Uh, bitch! <sighs> you talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat. Passwords, code names, operation protocols. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! God damn it! All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastard! And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my son! I must agree with Leon. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Kornut! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom! Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father in those vents! Okay, folks, uh, right here, I'm gonna, uh, you know, because this is like a checkpoint, and it's been a long video already, so it's, it's uh, good, and like I said, um, originally I got past this, and when I'm in the tunnels with, it, with uh, some kind of vehicle or something, it's when I land at the very end is when the game crashed, and therefore it destroyed my whole game and stuff. And so that's why, you know, I did it this way, where, where I knew, at least I know a little bit more of the game and I'm able to, you know, play it better. So you get to see a little more better of a run of it. But nonetheless, um, so I want to just, you know, quit it now and uh, quit the call of the day uh, from playing. And that way, you know, I know it should, you know, save correctly and then... The next time I play, I'll be somewhere over here, um, I believe, because I think this is a, I think this is what the checkpoint is. So, but if I go any further, it's gonna, you know, we're gonna go right into it, and, and that'll be for a whole different video. So, so no matter where you are in the world, have a great day, great afternoon, great evening. Please take care of yourself. Be kind to others. God bless to you and your own religion. Shipper and Jeff signing out. 
Adios amigos and adios the lovely amigos.